Well, Andrew is struggling to get into his property after a sinkhole swallowed his driveway. For five months, he's been trying to have it fixed, but can't get any help. We just thought it was a little hole. And it wasn't until the water cleared up we saw that it had the Telstra wires and it was much bigger than we thought. That there's a bloody big hole in a road reserve that the council, who is responsible for that road reserve, is not prepared to fix. I mean, what is that? So let's go have a look at this is your driveway. It was my driveway. It's no longer my driveway. Getting into Andrew Pearson's property is easier said than done. It, it's very hard. Um, you have to take a very sharp corner, you know, a very sharp angle to get in on the side access. We can't get any trailers in, horse trailers, uh, no trucks. For five months now, this crater has taken over his driveway. It all just started in the February floods when um, our dam overfilled uh, by the rushing water and just escaped down the driveway. and. The pensioner and his family were isolated for four days. Say goodbye to our driveway. But as the water subsided, it revealed more damage, a giant sinkhole emerging on the road reserve right at the entrance to the property near Gympie in Queensland. And at the bottom of the hole, even more concern, exposed wires and pipes. First we thought, well, with the wires especially, we thought that might be a concern for Telstra. Andrew says Telstra came out and put out cones, but that's where the help stopped. With the hole, it's a bit hard to touch because we're responsible for any broken wires that may occur by us filling that in. For months, the Air Force veteran has been battling to get some help, all the while the sinkhole sits as a lurking danger. If it isn't fixed, I, I think the biggest concern is someone's, well, we nearly lost the postie, you know, <laughs> the first time. The sinkhole clearly sits outside of Andrew's property, but he says he's been told by the council this hole is his problem, despite it being on council land just a metre off the road. A bit angry, really, because, um, you know, rates aren't cheap. We do the best to uh, do what's right, but when something happens where we need help and you can't get it, it is a little frustrating. Andrew says if he were to do anything to the road reserve any other time, the council would object. Tell the farmer to go out and build a bungalow on that nature strip and see whether the council comes into town and tells him, listen, you've got to demolish it because you're on our land. I'll guarantee it. Town planner Bill Kuznichuk says the hole needs to be fixed urgently before it undoubtedly gets worse. And that responsibility should be the council's. I don't want individual landowners filling up holes in the road reserve. That's not their role, it's not their job. Your wife runs a bed and breakfast from here as well. How's that been impacted by the sinkhole? Um, it is very difficult for our clients to get in. Not everyone has a full drive. Oh, I think Andrew put it well. He said the driveway is uh, easy to find but hard to get up, hard to get through. James Brennan and his family have been staying at the farm stay. Look, I think. Uh, it's probably really frustrating. If that's your driveway, I wouldn't want to have to drive up and down that every day to get in and out of my property. Yeah. What are you going to do with this hole if no one agrees to fill it in? I'll charge admission for the ninth wonder of the world. <laughs> Andrew, who retired early from the Air Force due to injuries, says even if he wanted to, he doesn't have the capacity to fill the sinkhole himself and just wants a little help. Stop fighting over it. Just get here and fix it. Gympie Regional Council told us it's the responsibility of the owner to provide and maintain access into their property, which, as you heard, is pretty unreasonable given the hole is on council land. A statement from the council and Telstra is on our website.